This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your Cruise News for Tuesday, October 17th. It was a sobering scene Monday morning watching over 2,000 Americans board a cruise ship in Israel to get away from danger. In response to growing tensions in the Middle East, the U.S. government chartered Royal Caribbean's Rhapsody of the Seas to evacuate Americans and their families from Israel early Monday morning. The cruise ship became a primary evacuation source with major U.S. airlines suspended flights to Tel Aviv. After docking in Haifa, the ship set course for Cyprus, where it arrived just before midnight Eastern Time. At the time of broadcast, the ship is still docked in Cyprus, and Royal Caribbean has not commented if they will be doing additional missions. And more price increases for 2024. Carnival Cruise Line is hiking the Faster to the Fun by $10 to $20 per cabin. Now, this benefit allows guests to get priority embarkation and debarkation along with priority tender operations. All stateroom occupants benefit once one person in the stateroom enrolls, but it must be purchased before the cruise. Now, as an example, as some of the hikes you'll see from two to three day cruises go from 59 to 69 and six to eight day cruises go from 129 to 139. Some cruises like those sailing from Norfolk, Virginia, San Francisco, or Europe do not offer faster to the fun. The program started back in 2012. And Carnival Corporation's joint venture with Adora Cruises in Asia has sold the Costa Atlantica, a spirit-class ship built in 2000. The vessel, now renamed Margaritaville at Sea Islander and flagged in the Bahamas, has a market value of around $64 million. Its new owner has not officially confirmed the buy, though it's worth noting that the Florida-based cruise operator Margaritaville at Sea has been associated with other Costa ships. Its current ship, the Margaritaville at Sea Paradise, is one of the oldest cruise ships sailing from the U.S. at 32 years old. And Cruise Line stocks were up 1% on Monday. Carnival Corporation, 12.35. Royal Caribbean, 86.68. And Norwegian, 14.97. If you have a lead on a story, you can send it in to tips at cruiseradio.net. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Have yourself a great Tuesday.